So I was in the bathroom and I get a call from from uh, a guy who introduces himself. Mm -hmm. He says he works for I Choose Life mm -hmm. uh, Kenya. Then it was I Choose Life Kenya. Mm -hmm. And they are rolling out a program to Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. And they've been given my contact by one of my sociology lecturers. Mm -hmm. uh, could you come for an interview tomorrow? And I said, yes, where? They tell me where Ufungamano. They were based in Ufungamano. Mm -hmm. You know, those days we didn't even have internet. Mm. So, and you know, you, you can't ask someone, what is this I choose life? Because mm. yeah. <laughs> you don't want them to change their minds. Yeah. yeah, in case you start asking too many questions, they say, yeah. ah, it's okay, don't come. Yeah. So I didn't want to ask so many questions. Mm. I didn't know, I had, you know, I, I, I'd never heard of it. Mm. Uh, but all he said is that they work on HIV AIDS. I was like, okay, if it's HIV AIDS, I'm sure I can muscle up my information on HIV AIDS because we'd also done some units. Mm. At KU, one of the compulsory units was, was, was HIV AIDS. Mm. Um, so I just went back to my notes, read so much about HIV AIDS. I didn't know much about this institution. Mm. Internet, I mean, those days we didn't even know Google. Mm. Lucky kids nowadays are so lucky. It was Yahoo. <laughs> it was Yahoo. Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even have a Yahoo account yeah. those days. And, and there were, there were, we had things called um, Encarta. Was, was it Encarta? And, some encyclopedia online. Yes, yeah. I think something like that. In Qatar or something. Yeah, but then if yeah. an organization was just starting up, like yeah, ICL it, was just, yes, yeah. who would have registered mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I mean, I'll just read my HIV AIDS. I'll go charm them. When they ask me questions, I will just tell stories. Mm -hmm. So I went for the interview. Yeah, they asked me questions and I answered and all. And then the next day they called me back and said, Sheila, we're going to give you a job. Yeah. You know, I, that, I, at that point, you don't even ask how much the salary yeah. is. Me, I just need to get out of that house. I need a job. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so I said, yes, definitely. Where can I, when can I sign the contract? I don't even know that we signed contract, by the way, but I'm sure there was a contract <laughs> somewhere. There was something. There was something, yeah. But there yeah. was, yeah, we went. We went and uh, so they, they had actually recruited a number of people. But mm. most of them mm. had been students mm. of University of Nairobi who had gone through mm. the I Choose Life uh, peer education curriculum. So I Choose Life then was called itself a peer education behavior change uh, organization, mm -hmm. which was trying to influence, you know, key, uh, university students to make the right choice in regard to HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. And so they were offering peer education training. And then after peer education training, there was some, there was a lot of outreach, mm -hmm. putting students in behavior change communication groups. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, so, so a lot of the my colleagues, you know, who I met then, mm -hmm. had been through the program. There had been already one, I think one or two programs, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, run by ICL mm -hmm. from 2001. Right. So they had been part of the program mm -hmm. and they had volunteered mm -hmm. uh, as facilitators, mm -hmm. as uh, peer education trainers and so on. Mm -hmm. So they were now um, coming in to work. Mm -hmm. So they had already had been in the ICL system. Okay. So there were just two of us who are from KU, mm -hmm and then uh, another two from Daystar, mm -hmm. where now the program was rolling out, mm -hmm. uh, who are totally green mm -hmm. in terms of ICL, mm -hmm. because they needed, of course, uh, you know, to get people who had been through those universities mm -hmm. to help roll out, because we understood the university structures, we understood the clubs, the club mm -hmm. networks, and all these things, yeah. and so they needed uh, new people, mm -hmm. at least two new people in each of those univers new universities where they were, where they were rolling out, mm -hmm. To start off the program mm -hmm. so yeah that's how i got my first job mm -hmm. so i was um attached to kenyatta university mm -hmm. so yeah we started that program in kenyatta university in 2004 mm -hmm. january mm -hmm. we now moved to we did we did a whole four months of very thorough orientation mm -hmm. um we were, were part of one of the icl uh, peer education trainings mm -hmm. at the university of nairobi mm -hmm. from which started in october 2003 up to December the as part of set. yes as yeah. it was actually the third set, the third set for okay. University of Nairobi okay. mm -hmm. but now uh, for us it was part of our orientation to prepare us so mm. the next January was mm. supposed to start a similar one a similar KU. one in KU and yeah. start off start mm. off the office mm. start mm. off everything mm. Mm. yeah founding team actually uh, sorry I, I got it wrong mm -hmm. we actually did not do it for just one 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 uh, for, for four months we did mm. it for a year wow because we we we, we rolled out the first a KU program in 2004. Uh -huh. Yeah, later on in later on in, in 2004. Later mm. on in, mm. in in the year. Mm. Yeah, mm. later on in the so year. So you've gotten very, like you you've gotten quite. You gotten it fully. Yes, yes, yeah. you gotten it fully. Yeah. We'd experienced yeah. it. It was yeah. very very thorough. Mm. It was very thorough. I in fact, um, whenever I think of I choose life, mm. and some of the things that we are doing now, 
uh, as NGOs. Mm -hmm. ICL had started those things way back. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned about monitoring and evaluation mm -hmm. from I Choose Life. Mm -hmm. You know, in those early years, 2003, they were mm -hmm. thinking about M&D, mm -hmm. you know, and, and research. Mm -hmm. And um, there are so many things, even in terms of profiling the, 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 the work, mm -hmm. you know, documentation. Because mm -hmm. I was, I, I, you know, w one of the things we did is, you got a job in, in ICL as a peer education trainer, mm -hmm. but then there was something else you were doing in the back end. Yeah. You know, like for me, there are some people who are doing outreach, uh, public relations, mm. uh, we used to call it chronicling, mm -hmm. but it was actually just, you know, like the person who was taking the videos mm -hmm. and the pictures, mm. you know, now the documentation, mm -hmm. there was someone doing the admin mm. and finance. So you'd be a peer education trainer mm. and you'd be offering you'd be facilitating the trainings mm. but on a day-to-day -day basis mm. there's also other work you're doing so for me mm. because i was into writing and mm. all that i mm. was i was i was public I, I was doing no i was doing public relations all right so the finished product someone else does mm. the the photography mm. and the videos mm. and mm. then now i package that you package that yes for, because for every audiences. yes because mm. every session had to be documented mm. Mm. you know you had to do the pictures mm. you put up a notice board mm. you know those days now mm. again things are not online you don't have whatsapp mm. you don't have twitter mm. social media mm. So where all these things would mm. be put up. Mm. So instead we'll do mm. notice boards and, right. and capture all the exciting moments of yeah. the of the of the session, yeah. you know, and go back as we're going back to the session, you're going back to, you know, this is what we did. Yeah. We'd play a lot of games as part of, you know, teaching university students about HIV AIDS sure. and you know the principles. So mm. well, those days well, <laughs> the abstinence and you know yeah. being faithful was big. Mm. Um uh, and, and so just you know talking to university to the students about true love weights sexual mm. purity and things mm. like that those mm. th i mean that really touched mm. my heart because mm. i mean having just come from ku mm. and for me I'd, i must say that at this point ku for me was a culture shock mm. because first of all remember i'd only been to girl girl schools girls catholic school yes mm. girl, yes first mm. girls catholic school mm. then a girl school mm. And then this is the first co-educational facility mm. I've been to. Mm. In fact, mm. I remember the first time <laughs> I, I walked into my hostel mm. and saw a man, I think, coming out from one of the one of my one of the you know rooms. Yeah. I almost collapsed. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's a man doing in the hostel? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else was like, Sheila, this is a university. <laughs> because I was so like, I mean, I was so used to that very yani girls only. Yeah. So for me it was a culture shock. So mm -hmm. I was very passionate about issues around HIV AIDS and how do young people conduct themselves so that they're able to, yeah. you know, protect themselves. And because I, I remember how was, HIV AIDS yeah. was, you know, was quite or, a concern. Was, huge, yeah. was quite a concern those mm. days. Also because we were not, we, di we, we didn't know how to manage it well, mm. you know, medically, mm. you know. So so <laughs> it was it was quite a concern. There was a lot of stigma. So I was really keen like, wow, I mean, what are people doing? <laughs> So and I got the opportunity to actually teach people about this and yeah. behavior change. I yeah. jumped at it and it was something very, very natural. Passionate to yeah, you. very natural yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. You are you are surprised at the 10 to 10 rule being broken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was very shocked. But I I, I mean I, I got the hang of it. And, but I, and that's why I, when I got the opportunity to educate, yeah, to, I said I will to, educate. To make a difference through I, I choose life. That yes. For you it was meaningful. Yeah. So you start off this program. Yeah. You are part of the founding team for the for Kenyatta University. I choose life. ICL KU chapter mm -hmm. and um, at this time you're saying you're also learning what sort of do we call it programming mm, in, in the development exactly. sector looks like yeah and 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 um, uh, what other things are how is the shaping of the KU program mm. uh, how, how did that look like for you it was interesting because um, at KU one which was different from the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. the program in the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. then because at KU now we were coming in and we're kind of more entrenched into the university system mm -hmm. because we are under the AIDS control unit. unit. Mm -hmm. um, who, who was the VC and who was the ACU head and the VC at the time? The, the vice chancellor, who at that time George Eshiwani had just left. Mm -hmm. He left or was chased away in 2003. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the, 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 the vice chancellor was Professor Everett Standard. Right. A poet, by the way, mm -hmm. who had really enjoyed, I'd really enjoyed his poems those days now mm -hmm. when I was doing, you know, literature. I was a very accomplished poet. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he was the vice chancellor mm. and the head of the of the uh, AIDS control unit was called Dr. Owino. Mm -hmm. So we were hosted under the AIDS control unit. Mm -hmm. So we were, given, uh, we were given three offices, mm -hmm. but able to renovate them, set mm -hmm. them up. Mm -hmm. But then the, the thing about now, why they particularly had asked for 
two university students and mm -hmm. also it was like it, gets to the, it was also a, a, a request of the university mm -hmm. that we would also want some of our own to be yeah, yeah. to benefit from this program mm -hmm. and so so even as a new program is coming you don't mm -hmm. just all come you know all mm -hmm. outsiders mm -hmm. yeah. and you know those rivalries they are yeah. Yeah, you, they, you, they, you're from the university of yeah. Yeah. we also want our own KU homegrown mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. to be part mm -hmm. of this program mm -hmm. so I would imagine that was part of the maybe trade-off mm -hmm. um, so we we, we uh, the, the, I think the, the thing about now two of us coming from KU was mm -hmm. also to help embed ACL into mm -hmm. the the university structures mm -hmm. working within the existing structures mm -hmm. uh, to be able to roll out the mm -hmm. the program who was so, the other person by the way from KU he was called Bernard Baraza okay. who also sits on the ICL yeah, yeah, board yeah yeah so Bernard uh, Baraza was actually Ban Mr. Bernard Baraza who's now the KCB foundation was um, was uh, my, my senior, mm -hmm. I mean, he had actually, he was even my senior, I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of my, my, my schooling, he had been, he was a year ahead of me, mm -hmm. and had been part of the AIDS control unit and its programs throughout mm -hmm. his life. Mm -hmm. I, funny enough, I had never been, I'd never interacted mm -hmm. with the AIDS control mm -hmm. unit, mm -hmm. I'd never been a peer educator. Mm -hmm. um, but I, anyway, somehow, I just see sometimes in, mm -hmm. when, 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 it, when, it, when, it, uh, when it shines on you, it shines. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so he was very, I mean, very, very instrumental, instrumental. because he knew I mean, mm. all these AIDS program, mm. Co mm. HIV AIDS programs that had been happening in the university. Mm. And uh, so for us, it was about linking up with the existing structures, mm. the clubs, mm. because again, there was a whole um, process in terms of how we were recruiting mm. uh, students. It was mm. a very popular program. Mm. And even from the word go, from the time we hit ground, mm. you know, everyone, everyone wanted to be part of ICL, mm. you know, because mm. we had a whole elaborate publicity program. Mm. We, we were able to show what we had done at the University of Nairobi and everyone thought it was very exciting mm. to the training, very experiential training, mm. you know, you're learning, you're doing groups, mm. you're in peer groups, you're, you're discussing, you're playing games, mm. we would go out for camping, we'd mm. go out for picnics, we'd go out for community service, so everyone wanted to be part of it, mm. you know, even if it was not for the HIV AIDS learning, mm. but at least for the fun of it. Mm. So. We every although a lot of people who are interested, so we actually did interviews. Mm. You know, we'd sit and we'd do interviews mm. uh, for people who want to be uh, who want to be part of it. Mm. And then we had um, quarters. Like mm. from first year, we we're taking this mm. number. Second year, third year, mm. uh, fourth year, mm. and then also from clubs. Mm. There are certain clubs in KU again because mm. you, 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 you the, the 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 ICL training was about also you know peer education. Mm. And you want these people to also go out because mm. you can't train everyone, mm. but you want to train people who will be able to champion mm. um, the, the issues around HIV AIDS mm. within the university. So people who are also influential, you want mm. to get the influencers mm. in campus, yeah. you know. So again, you go into the clubs, you know, you go into the student leadership. So though you have to be very deliberate again on who gets into the program. Mm. So we, we, I guess that's why also we were there because then we understood which are the clubs, you know, who are the student, you know, leaders. Mm. And, and so on, you know, where, where, which were the right doors to knock at to be able to get people who would be able to influence, right. come for the training, but not just sit on it, but right. also be able to be the light, mm. be the light and mm. take that mm. education mm. out there. So mm. it was quite an elaborate uh, mm. system of recruitment mm. and then induction mm. and then now training for, mm. for, for, for uh, a couple of weeks mm. and then graduation, mm. you know, graduation, it was full pomp color and all mm. that. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. so that was, that was really mm. interesting in terms mm. of just going back. Mm. Cause I, I guess also sometimes when you graduate from school, you're like, ah, it went so fast. I, I, I don't <laughs> think I'm done yet. So I, yeah. for me, it gave me another opportunity to, 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 to still be on in there to, yeah to hang on in there and then i'd finished earlier than the people i joined yeah, because yeah. Yeah. yeah so i still got a, a an opportunity to hang out with some yeah. of my friends yeah. who had who had yeah. left behind yeah. Yeah. so i yeah i guess mm. it gave mm. me it was a good time again just to yeah. experience ku yeah. but yeah. now from a working perspective eh, yeah. where you actually have yeah. money in your pocket yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a you're a prime you know you're sort of like a student but a working class prime leader yes yeah. working class and yeah, yeah. your people are looking at you the student leaders i yeah. mean even some of them actually some of the elected mm. members of parliament you know yeah. because i think icl training was so was rich. so critical and rich yeah it was not just about hiv aids mm. it also developed your leadership skills mm. your speaking skills mm. i always say some of my speaking presentation skills mm -hmm. came from myself because mm -hmm. we would rehearse how mm -hmm. are you going to train how are you going to facilitate mm -hmm. that session mm -hmm. you know stand there and take us through mm -hmm. how you're going to train people mm -hmm. today Dry how are you going to talk it? exactly mm -hmm. so a lot of my presentation my mm -hmm. confidence came from mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. because we had to go through mm -hmm. that whole process mm -hmm. of, of, mm -hmm. of practicing yeah. and, and so on yeah. and a lot of the students I mean we had a lot because we deliberately also went for student leaders mm -hmm. 
and who are some uh, sitting members of parliament right now mm. like honorable isaac maura mm -hmm. was in my group i mm. was his peer educator mm. I, was, I was his facilitator mm. so whenever he sees me he mm. says yes you are my teacher you're mm. my facilitator mm. Mm. um so we had a lot of those mm. um some of i could care you as a lot of people now mm. in parliament mm. they, they mm. also went through the icl right. program because right. i always thought it was very critical in terms of shaping also their own yeah. leadership skills yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now you're working and I don't know um, how long you take to work at ICL yeah. and, yeah. and, 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 um, and uh, where that takes you and yeah. how you come to exit. Yeah, so at ICL, I worked there uh, from August 2003 mm -hmm. until March 206, 2006. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, hey, the, the journalism bug came and it was burning. Mm. <laughs> At mm. one day, I just sat and I said, no, 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 no. I, I have to go back and follow my dream. Mm -hmm. I have to go back. Yes, I continued writing. Mm. And at ICL, I was doing a lot of the comms work. Mm. Mm. But then also at some point at ICL, I was promoted. Mm. So I became an assistant program manager. Mm -hmm. And I was doing more, a bit outreach, which is still a bit comms related. Mm -hmm. But not so comms, eh? Mm -hmm. Because now it's more about the programming, the mm. M&D, eh? Mm. Okay of the boring stuff <laughs> <laughs> so i said no 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 no. i want to go back to my writing yeah so so that bag hit me mm. hard mm. i actually even stopped eating mm. i would just pray and fast because mm. i'm like god you just have to get me that job mm. i don't know how mm. you know mm. and and um i remember even at once reaching out to my dad my dad had it was a time he used to write for the standard mm. and he had networks with some of the managing editors and i told him i wrote him a message i mm. and it reminds me sometimes about that message mm. late at night i told him you just have to you have to link me up with one of one or two managing mm. editors mm. and get me a job in at at the, at the press i'm mm. tired mm. I, I i want to, i really just want to follow my dream mm. so he tried he tried mm. to link me up mm. with a few people and they told mm. me oh you know um they asked me so which part of media do you want to work i told them to be honest right now i can work in radio i can write i can do anything mm. I can do anything. I just want to be in the media. That's what mm. I would say when mm. I got. I, I think I got opportunity to meet two, mm. two of them, mm -hmm. and they would tell me, "Oh no, no, now it's so difficult. What, 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 what? Mm. You know, lo mm. long, long stories." Mm -hmm. So, but I continued. I didn't give up. I mm -hmm. continued to apply. Mm -hmm. um, there, there would be sometimes this, this um, th some of the stations, like especially the radio stations, would ask for people to go do voice tests. Yeah. I would always go mm. do voice tests, yeah. voiceovers. Yeah. You know, where there would be sometimes, you know, uh, the people would say, okay, you write, 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 we have a competition, mm. present your articles. Mm. I would do all those, but mm. I was not getting the job. Mm. Then one day in December 2005, um, Nation, mm. it, it had just rebranded from Nation FM. To it was now Easy FM. Easy FM. Yes. Mm. So they advertise. And I, I, I look, I get the, in fact, actually, it's my mother who showed me. Mm. And, and she said, why don't you apply? Mm. I said, of course, I will apply. Mm. In fact, that whole December, I remember for two weeks, mm. I didn't even enjoy Christmas. Mm. Me, I was busy doing my application because mm. they wanted you to write mm. an essay mm. about, uh, about governance in Kenya. Mm. And then uh, there was also, you also needed to do a voice test. So I needed mm. to get a place where I could record my voice because mm. I was supposed to read. Mm. You know, I was, I was applying as a news presenter, mm. come reporter. Mm. I just said, I, I mm. So I put my all. I didn't even enjoy Christmas mm. <laughs> because I was busy putting my application. So I put mm. my application. Mm. Then I just crossed my fingers. I mm. said, I hope they call me. Mm. And they called me. Oh, wow. So they called me and they told me, come for an interview. And they would call. They were very funny because they would mm. call today mm. and they say the interview is tomorrow. Oh. Yes. So by then now you've learned how to prepare yourself for an interview. Mm. Make sure you're, you're looking smart, mm. you know, you're well prepared, you mm. have read, you have researched. Mm. So I really just put everything aside and started preparing because mm. I, only, I only had one day which mm. is to do the interview. Mm. Um, and I guess that's one a lesson also. You always have to be prepared. Yeah. You always have to be prepared, be especially yes, mm. always be ready. Mm. So it, it, it taught me to always be ready because mm. at Nation they would call you today. In fact, mm. there's once they called me in the morning. They mm. said, come and meet the bosses today, like in two hours. Wow. That time I was at the, I remember I was at Ufungamano where the ICL office was. Mm. I am not dressed for an interview. Mm. I'm, I'm staying on Thika Road. So I had to take, I had the last 1,000 shilling, my last 1,000 bob, spent it on a cab <laughs> to go change and mm. spruce myself up mm. and come up still within mm. time to meet the bosses. Mm. I mean, it was that bad. I, mm. I wanted that job. Mm. So I went, I did the first interview. Mm. I guess they, they, they called me again mm. for a second one mm. and then they took forever to come back. Mm. And then that's when now the last time they called mm. was the dinner. They were giving me two hours. Mm. I guess we're also trying to see how fast mm. can you respond. Mm. Mm. 
because so, in the media attention yeah. requires that so, kind of fast response. Yeah, so so the third interview was now coming to meet the the, the, the then head of um, broadcasting, Ian Fernandez, mm -hmm. and the head of radio, mm. that was Bob Kiyoko. Mm. Yeah, so you mm. come, meet mm. them, they ask you questions. Mm. Yes, yes, mm. we have this, yeah, mm. the common common mm. heritage. Mm. Yes, so mm. I met them, I talked to them about mm. what I, yeah, what, mm. what my what my vision is, what mm. I want, mm. why I want to work for radio, and mm. why I want it so bad. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and so they, they hired me, and mm. then, uh, yeah, I, I resigned from, from ICL, it was mm. sad, mm. because at ICL, I always say it wasn't just about work, just in funny. fact, it was never, work was like at the back end. Mm. First of first and foremost, when you're going to work, you're mm. going to hang out with your friends. Mm. Mm. You're going to do exciting they were stuff. Peers, they were peers. Yeah. 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 You'd, you'd it was fun together. stuff. It was yeah. fun stuff. We were yeah. doing fun stuff together, yeah. Yeah. discussing, you know, yeah. things that are really central and, and, and I'm passionate mm. about. Mm. So I really, it was never really a, a mm. the, you know, mm. the, the very, can, can I say, conservative, mm. old-fashioned, mm. straight jacket workplace. Yeah. So it was sad, mm. uh, but then it was a time for change yeah. because I really wanted to just pursue my dream. Yeah. And so, yeah, then I joined Easy FM. Yeah. Mm. We'll take it from Easy FM when okay. you come back. Okay.